guys. So we are going to do a, a bottle pour today. Uh, this is just the bottom of a water bottle that I cut off. And um, I'm not sure how to say it, but MCE Art or Mick E Art <laughs> shared this idea with me. So I wanted to give it a try. I will post a link to her channel in the description as well. In case you want to check out her awesome. She did a black and white one that was really cool. So anyways, I'm going to give this a shot. This is uh, this canvas is already covered in wet black paint. Um, and my paints here are mixed with Floetrol, which is a paint conditioner. It helps the paint flow. And a little bit of water. Sorry about that. Uh, the type of paint that I use is called Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. So if you'd like to get the same kind of paint. And my... Oh, but, uh, my plan with this one is to actually leave a little bit of um, negative space, which is part of the reason why I covered the canvas with black first. Um, just so that I don't have to worry about stretching the paint out. This one is the only one that's not flow acrylics. It's Deco Art Metallics. And I actually just mixed my paint right in here because I'm at the end of my container of paint, so thought I'd not waste a cup. This is the antique bronze. It's really pretty. I really like it. So far, so good. I'm going to do, uh, I think, a couple more colors, and then I'm just going to kind of let it sit a little bit. Uh, I think I'm just going to do the bronze and then I think we're good. I don't know. Maybe I'll end off with white, actually. Sorry. Try not to be indecisive on my videos. But yeah, I'm going to end off with white. Alright, there we go. Alright, move everything out of the way. Okay, now here's the part that's fun, moving this out of the way without messing it up. Okay, good. And look, it's sinking into the middle there. I am going to help it along a little bit. I'm definitely going for the flower here, so I'm going to pull this white a little more into the middle. Cool. Yeah, so that was a fun experiment. Um, just bringing it back a tiny bit this way. Just so it's a little more centered. Okay, good. I'm not going to like actually tilt it off. Now I, it's already going off over here and it's going to go off over there. That's okay. Um, so we're going to let this. I'm going to stick that there. We're going to let this sit for a bit, see what happens. Uh, I'm curious if there's going to be cell formations and whatnot. I can see air bubbles, so I feel like some cells are going to pop up. And then we'll go in for the close-up. So this is about 20 minutes later. Um, it's definitely still moving out. I feel like it's done probably most of the moving that it's going to do, though, because uh, I didn't use super watered-down paint. But we'll go in for the close-up. All right. So I wish in the light you could see the bronze a little bit better. because It is nice and shiny. Uh, here you can see it go, it's going over the corner a little bit. And over here it looks like it might make it to the edge. Not totally sure. There's the center. Over here it definitely went whoop, over the edge again. That's okay. Over here it's pretty close too. 
Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I put in black after that um, bronze and before the white, and it really just sunk. It just sunk right into the bronze, <laughs> so you can barely see that layer of black I put in there, which is definitely interesting seeing how the layers of paint react. So this was a really fun experiment. I'm not entirely sure of the practical applications, um, but I, I like it. Um, and I think it would be really fun to do this project on a much larger canvas, but I of course wanted to try it on a small canvas, so I might do it again on a larger canvas. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.